Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with my good old friend, Philip, on this lovely day. What's up, Minotaur? Yep. I have a real mic now. Let's go, we upgrade in. Thank God. We finally oh. get in our shit together one way or another. I no longer sound like I'm in a sewer. Yeah. That's I'm a now, vibe, dude, though. I'm now in your bedroom. Right right there with you. Yeah, like, you you turn on the camera and it's actually, like, you're just, like, one of those sewer pipes just chilling with, like, a desk and a whole on gaming stuff. I, I would love to work, I would love to work in a sewer, you know? Mm -hmm. Because, because then, because then I could say that my occupation is, you know, if I, I could say, you know, whatever city I'm living in, like, if I was... You no, know, Rale Raleigh's close. I'll use that. Mm -hmm. I could say I'm the head of the shit in Raleigh. Okay, that, 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 would, like that, that would be. That would be. That would be my dream job. Just, just, just cleaning out the sewer. I got. Someone's got it. Someone's got to clean it. I mean, God. yeah. Someone's got to shovel the shit off out of the sewer and whatnot. Exactly. Well, now that I'm out of the sewer and I'm back here, I decided it would be a good time to. uh read about someone who is probably as shitty as uh, the Super <laughs> Raleigh. Damn. You you dissing their girl already? Look, the gloves are off. The gloves are off. She is a snake. I mean, to be fair, I, I you know what? Face. <laughs> I mean, she, she, she did try to murder the only ginger there. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only fucking... The, the only, only fucking... The only person who kind of reached out to her, you know. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is he the only ginger in the series? <laughs> I'm... I think he's the only motherfucker that's actually like ginger and whatnot well, well, that has I was, orange hair. I was talking about how he, she kind of uh, more or less threw Makoto under the bus, but... Oh, that's well, too. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh, no, let's more focus on the ginger. <laughs> Wait, Mahiru. Mahiru's in the series. There's that kid from Ultra Despair Girls, the mm -hmm. very first one that you, uh, that you take down. Um, yeah, there's a few other gingers. I mean, maybe not as, like, you know, red-orange-ish as, uh, damn, I forgot his name. Leon? Um, Leon. Damn, Warren. you actually yeah. forgot the motherfucker's name. <laughs> Look, like, I'm not oh, playing the, the games. fuck his name is. Or I'm not he's playing dead. the games in five years. Something's something's got to change. I've I've thought about watching the anime recently, but I have to watch it with uh, a friend of mine who has not played the games, and I'm not making that his first. I'm not making that his first exposure at all. Yeah, you got to make him like at least watch game footage of uh, the game or whatnot. Like yeah, an LP, yeah, or, or make him play I, the I, game. I, I, I would, I, I'd gift them the games. They're good. They're good games. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, if if you haven't told, seen by thumbnail, title, and us making fun of the bitch, uh, we <laughs> we are reading Saika Maizono, X reader. Wow, and it's a female reader too. Wow, I get to be a lady. <laughs> Let's go. Are we? Oh, it is a female reader. I did not pick up on that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I do. I do my research. What can I say? You know, I'm, I'm such a, such a good co-host. You know. Let's go, man. You're, you're I, too I definitely, I definitely did not pick this out at uh, Phoenix's suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, we haven't talked about this bitch. She never gets like anything aside from that like one dude on TikTok that has like an entire house dedicated to her. So. Yeah, they, they have. They have a lot of like videos of of other they, they they do crazy shit for like other girls even in Dongarumpa and out but it's but their number one they make sure to make it clear that it is Sayaka Maizono. She doesn't even uh, last through chapter one. She's the first victim. How can you make a shrine on someone who, that doesn't even like get that close? You know this is how I felt about Junko and Oshima. Well, when she, I didn't, when, like, when I, she I didn't know, I didn't know quote, why, died. I didn't know why she had so much art. I was like, man, people must really like that design yeah. <laughs> because like, she wow. dies, she dies so quick. And then I was like, 
I played the games and I was like, oh, okay, well, uh... I get it now. <laughs> that happened. That did happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so, Sayaka has always been jealous of YN, LN, a beautiful and talented pop star. Whenever they meet at an event, she would do her best to avoid the singer, not even wanting to make eye contact with her. But all that changed when she received a letter from Hope's Peak Academy. She had been given the title Ultimate Pop Sensation. From then on, her feelings of jealousy turned to one of admiration and something else. Something that made her cheeks turn red and her heart beat faster. Wow. It should have been I. <laughs> it should have been I, Oshino. How, wait, to, to, wait a minute. If we were more popular than her and she was jealous of us and whatnot, that means we were more good at our job. So how the fuck did she get the title? <laughs> you see... I'm not certain about that because it should have been me. Yeah, because I would say I would say that Taylor Swift is more popular than Mitski. Yeah, I guess. But I would say, but I would say that Mitski's a lot better than Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever listened to Taylor Swift like. <laughs> uh, she has a she has a couple of good songs, but uh, it, it's the most middle of the road. It, it, it's. It's surprising how bland it is for mm -hmm. how for how popular I, I guess it is. I, I don't know. If you if you like Taylor Swift, good for you, but it's it's not my <laughs> cup of tea. Yeah, go, go off, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go what? off. Just 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 play it away from me. <laughs> yeah, what? Um, we have a lot of different things we got to fill in. So obviously, mm -hmm. it's uh, YN and our our name last name. We also have our height, for some reason. I'm not going to autofill that in, because I'll just pick it out. Of hair color, eye color, skin color. Is that all? Please let that be all. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I think that's... I, I don't think that there's much aside from those basics, you know. Okay. All right. What, uh... What's this bitch's name going to be? Is this bitch's name would be? Hmm. Do we go? Do we go uncreative and uh, use something that I mentioned before, or do we think of some other stupid, ridiculous fucking name? I like using stupid, ridiculous names. You like it or you don't? I do like it. Cause it's so funny to have like a serious moment between the two characters, and like, thanks so much, chicken McNugget. <laughs> Real, real. Yeah. Mm, chicken McNugget. That is, you know okay. what? Hey, you, know, you know, McNugget is a great last name. That's Irish. Yeah, you know That's what? Irish. First name Chicken, last name McNugget. It's, I, it's I a think, surname. I think, it would, I think it would be cool to give the first name something else. Like, yeah, you got Chicken McNugget, but McNugget already implies that it's going to be like, you know, chicken. Yeah. Let, let's, Mc, give, let's give them. A Big Mac or Mac. Oh. Burger, 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 McNugget, burger, <laughs> McNugget. So, B U R G U R. Uh, B O R G A R. Wait, B O. Okay. This... Burger. Burger. Okay. And then. I, I don't want to lie to you. I'm not even want to lie to you. I had McDonald's earlier. <laughs> I, 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 I went there yesterday. They gave me two of my order, and I was like, sweet. So, uh, yeah. Let's go. I mean, Chick-fil-A currently. <laughs> so fucking keyed. Alright, hair color. Hair color. Mm. It should match a Big Mac, so we can do, like, cheddar, cheddar yellow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's go, let's go with, uh, yeah, yellow. Yeah, and then eye color. Gold. Um, eye color? Mm hmm Red. Red to match the ketchup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ketchup red. Perfect. And to, and to match the match the sizzling hot burger, the the beef patty, ebony for the skin. <laughs> How the fuck <laughs> do you smell? That? <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad. Wait, what kind of color is that? <laughs> Brown. Oh shit! Ebony, sorry. Eb 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 ebony. E b o n y. E b o n y. Yes. Okay. 
All right, ebony color. All right, we got it. Sweet. All right, chapter one. Why does she always have to be where I am? Saika Mazona, an idol, famous all over the world, whined to her assistant, who just shook her head. Please calm down, Saika. You're part of one of the most famous pop groups. Why would you be so worried about her? Look at her. Just look at her. The, the blue-haired female whisper yelled, pointing at the cheddar yellow-haired pop star as secretly as she could. How can she not be the lead role in any dramas? With her looks, I bet she gets so many requests about TV shows and movies. It was yet another gala for famous people. So it was only natural for Sayaka to be there. Unfortunately for her, Burger McNugget was attending the event as well. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I like saw it coming up. Ronald Burger. McDonald will be there as well, by the way. Yeah, that, the, yeah, that cannon in here. That's her father. <laughs> it's Ronald <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> she didn't know herself why she hated the uh, average-sized woman that much. Maybe it was jealousy. Of course it was jealousy. After all, Sayaka had worked so hard to get on top. What had Borger McNugget done for her <laughs> place in high society? Nothing at all, the blue-haired idol thought. So, at least, she didn't know how the female actually earned her popularity. Look at the dress she's wearing! Widening her eyes, Sayaka beat faster and faster. Oh, how perfectly that. Oh shit, favorite color. Uh, yeah, that. green, like the lettuce. Mm hmm, mm hmm. The, the lettuce green fabric complemented her ebony skin. It was beautiful in every aspect. If you wanted her in a dress in green, you could have just said so, you know. Her mood immediately changed again as she turned toward her. It was rather, it was a rather small, chubby woman, though Sayaka found her quite cute. Of course, beauty standards here are messed up, so she wouldn't be able to even come close to debuting. That thought made her sink down. Depressing. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the color of the dress, it's about the person wearing it. It makes me look so... Wait, it makes me so incredibly upset. A hand laid itself on her shoulder. I thought I was about to say like she got bitch slapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, that's that's probably the that's probably what she needed. Yeah, just like get yourself together. <laughs> Violently shaking, Sayaka yeah. like, Mizono. <laughs> hand laid itself on her shoulder from behind. It was the person she really didn't want to see, that she didn't want to see at all. Are you okay, Miss Mizono? You seem to be quite angry about something. Her ketchup red eyes send shivers down the idle spine. I... Were you listening to our conversation? She was quite surprised at her sudden outburst. As was Burgar. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Sayaka's cheeks grew a dark shade of red. Did she really have to be so rude to, ch to the cheddar yellow haired female? It is that... What if now she decides to tell the others about it? Burgura must have noticed her anxious expression, giving her a reassuring smile. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Blinking, she was taken quite aback. What did you just say, McNugget? <laughs> a small laugh left her. Oh, lip color. I guess pink. What other lip? Like, what other color would lips be? Red. Bread colored lips. Uh, beige. Beige lipstick, yes. <laughs> I said it, that it's okay. Everyone gets angry from time to time, so why would I judge you for it? After all, I'm not perfect either. Tee <laughs> She received a nod. Y yes, you're right. I was just stressed. Thank you for understanding how I feel. Lowering her head. Sayaka couldn't believe that she had just thanked the person that she just hated the most. I really appreciate that, McNugget. Instead of replying, Popstar just smiled. Well, I should get going now. We'll see you later, McNugget. The small assistant stuttered and dragged the blue-haired female away. 
who seemed to be a little dazed. Hey, what did I just say? You thanked McNugget, Sayaka. She froze. No, 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 how could I let that happen? It, it, how? I, I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe it's a thing where you hate someone so much that so you end up liking them. I, I, I guess so, but... I, do do, do people just... <laughs> un, un, unconsciously? Do people unconsciously thank others? I, 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 I don't understand. I don't know, like, sometimes I, like... It's not on purpose. It's almost like a reflex of, like, being, like, sorry. Like, saying, like, the, the first quick thing is, like, sorry. I don't know. Maybe it's like that. I, I think it's quite funny. I, what are these little emoji things? They look like little flowers. They're really cute. I don't know how I you get them popping up on a keyboard, though. That's probably because they use another uh, extension or something. They, they, they probably, probably find. They probably find. They probably find them or something. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't doubt if this was written on a phone. Yeah, there's a way to do it on like the like the number pad and whatnot, where you hold like shift and you punch a bunch of numbers and they give you like little like symbols and all that jazz. Yeah, I. Uh, whenever I usually get something like that, I usually just look it up on a site. Yeah. Like if I want to spell corn with a backwards R, I'll just <laughs> fucking look it up. Why would oh, you right. spell corn with a backwards R? <laughs> As in the band. The, the what? Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, lord. Alright, chapter two. <laughs> After that encounter, Sayaka hid herself behind groups of people whenever the cheddar yellow haired female would approach. How long could we continue to do this? Her assistant whispered to her, seemingly a little embarrassed that people might see them. Until the event is over, obviously, her words weren't making the situation better. But Sayaka, you can't do that. Your group is one of the hottest topics tonight. Paparazzi will begin searching for you soon. Thinking for a moment, the small female looked at her notebook and that she always carried. And there will be a lot of paparazzi. Wow. Lady Gaga's performing. Yep, yeah, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for paparazzi. <laughs> Forgot about those guys. The blue hair idol wasn't sure what to do now. Her system was right, after all. She couldn't just continue hiding for hours. What would all the other celebrities think? They could think she... Wait. They would think she was never fit for the spotlight of pure stress of being famous. All right, but you have to tell me whenever McNugget gets even remotely close to or my group, what if they start to like her and invite her to hang out with us? Not that we ever have time for that, but she was interrupted. Sayaka, calm down. No more butts. No more butts. 1984. No. All right, all right. Hyping herself on the inside. The idol stepped out from behind the group that she had used for coverage. You're right. I can't continue to whine and cry around. She may be just as famous as me, but doesn't mean everyone will like her. Ooh, bitch. I, finally, she calmed down. Hopefully, it will stay like that. At least for tonight. With these thoughts in her mind, the assistant followed Sayaka to the next room, where photographers immediately took countless pictures of her, capturing her best angle, best angles possible. My assistant was right. Paparazzi everywhere. I mean, <laughs> you've never been to a gala before? Come on, Sayaka. <laughs> They're in the walls. They're You're in the goddamn famous. walls. <laughs> <laughs> the paparazzi. They're not, they're not there. They're, it's a conspiracy. Yeah. It's all in your mind. Those are actually You're aliens. Schizophrenic. They're taking pictures yeah. of you so they can clone you later. <laughs> <laughs> They're capturing your soul. I love gaslighting pop stars. <laughs> oh my, Miss Mizona looks very pretty. No wonder the paparazzi keeps returning to her. A sudden voice started with the small female, who immediately turned to look at the pop star that Sayaka hated the most. Of course she does. She's Sayaka Mizona, one of the most famous pop stars of all time. Yeah, she definitely is. Her ketchup red eyes travel towards the blue-haired female. She didn't seem to get, get have noticed her yet. 
May I ask you a question? After receiving a nod, she continued talking. Why was Miss Mizota hiding behind all the behind other stars whenever we crossed paths? Freezing. She wasn't sure how to answer. How could she, how could she never give an answer that sounded like Sayaka was the most awful person on the earth? Word would be spreading fast, potentially ruining her reputation. Maybe even the reputation of her fellow members. Hiding behind stars, you say? Um, you see... Record scratch. You're probably wondering how I got in the situation right now. <laughs> it all started in the summer of 86. <laughs> <laughs> As if it wasn't enough to be confronted with such an embarrassing situation. She noticed that Sayaka was looking in their way. Trying to act as if she didn't care. Uh, I have to go now, McNugget. Uh, see you later. That she sprinted toward the paired idol and pulled her away from the paparazzi. What are you doing? Have you gone completely crazy? Sayaka tried to pull her arm away, then locked eyes with a ketchup red. Uh, I, 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 I really need the extension that you're using. <laughs> then locked eyes with burger nugget. She had to admit, her ketchup red eyes were probably the most mesmerizing ones she had ever seen in her whole, whole life. Because red, not a natural eye color, she's <laughs> using contacts. Meanwhile, the cheddar, cheese, yellow haired female was more than just confused. Had she done something wrong for the blue haired idol to have act that way? Or was she just imagining things? Either way, it wasn't her business. So, she should probably leave her alone from that moment on. Let's go! I wonder what we did. It. Did we, like, oh, copy her music oh. style? And then she's like, that fucking bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think this is, a. Uh, this is what, you know... I would refer to as a classic woman moment, but that's probably... Probably not very... No! Uh, I've been around <laughs> women a lot. Even like ones that weren't went like were women and then they transitioned and whatnot. They're fucking catty, man. They just hate people for no reason. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad we can. I'm glad we could shake on that. I'm glad we can. <laughs> Dude, there'd be people in our friend group that we would hang out and be like, "Oh, hi, Susan. How's it going?" These aren't real people. <laughs> hey, Susan, how's it going? And then we'll hang out, and then the, Susan will leave and be like. That fucking bitch, Susan. I saw her staring at my boyfriend's ass the other day. What a fucking whore. That's what I would hear. <laughs> God. Wow. <laughs> well, you know what? I do not put it past her. Susan, Susan is thinking about pegging your male friend's ass. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a real friend, Susan, just to let you guys <laughs> Susan is an, un like, an imaginary friend. <laughs> For, for for all the Susans out there, uh, we we apologize. Yeah, sorry if your name's Susan. You're probably a bitch, though. Anyway, <laughs> Sahaka, a letter arrived for you this morning. Stopping her dance practice, the blue hair idol shot her assistant a confusing look. So what? Just put it with the other fan mail. Can't you see that we're in the middle of practice? The small female walked towards her, shaking her head. I think it's fan mail, or do you have a a fan named? Hotes Peak Academy. Handing her the envelope, she disappeared again through the door. The other members looked at their lead singer, who was just as confused as them. Get it. Wait a minute! Her blue eyes widened as she realized what might be written in the letter. After all, it seemed to be important enough for her to get it delivered directly. Oh, it's actually addressed to me, not the group. Could this be what I think it is? Gulping. She opened the envelope. It was the death threat. <laughs> I can't. Uh, girls, I think I'll have to go back to school. Strangely enough, the females really have. Why would that be a good thing? We need you here, one of her fellow members exclaimed, visibly shocked about what Sayaka had just said. You can't leave. No, no, it's not just any ordinary school. She turned to face the other girls. It's Hope Speak Academy. I've just been given the title of Ultimate Pop Sensation. Can you believe that? Not only will we become even more famous all around Japan, but we will also have much more opportunities. Hope Speak Academy? Ultimate Pop Sensation? That doesn't mean you're the absolute best in that matter. The other members seemed more than just overjoyed. 
Not just because of the benefits, but because Sayaka's hard work had finally just started to pay off once again. Another high had been wretch. Oh wait, I just realized I kind of... I think I read that. <laughs> Doesn't that mean you're the best in the best of that matter? I think I, <laughs> I think I read that in another way that... <laughs> carry on, carry on. Oopsie daisies, must be an aquarium. <laughs> Not only were they happy, Sayaka was satisfied too. After all, she was the best one when it came to being an absolute pop sensation. And now, people had no choice but to accept that fact. She was the best, and she would probably save the best for years. Wait, doesn't like, as soon as you leave Host Peak Academy, doesn't that like, title expire? I think when you leave Hope Peak Academy, or, uh, like, you graduate. realize that... Yeah, I feel like when you I feel like when you graduate from Hope's Peak Academy, what happens is you find that the rest of the world has been desecrated. Oh, that's it. <laughs> no, because like the, what that uh, uh DR2 and whatnot, when you mm -hmm. watch the anime and whatnot, like they actually have a class and they their teacher is known as the former super high school mm -hmm. level uh housekeeper, I think. So that means she went to the academy and that was her title. So I guess when she graduated oh, yeah. to the real world. She just got that thing and denounce. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's kind of how it goes. So good By thing the way, that, a resume. that is the despair arc of Danganronpa three. They never had a they never had a Danganronpa two anime because they knew that it would suck. Yeah. Then again, they made they made Danganronpa three the anime which had the despair arc. I mean the future arc. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was. Even worse. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> at, at, at least the despair arc's good, though. Mm -hmm. uh, the despair arc is fire. Yeah. Everyone will know it, especially if you close your eyes in delight. Especially Borger and McNugget. Now sh she can't look down on me anymore. She'll have no choice. She'll have to accept and respect me. And while she did feel that, did, did feel like that, there was still another thought in her mind. But now that I think about it, being an ultimate talent means that I'm probably gifted at what, what I do. Her eyes wandered below her fellow members who were chattering among themselves now. My girls and McNugget. I don't really know what they why they are famous too. She has grown arrogant. Wow. I cannot believe oh, well. this pop star is growing arrogant. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, they, they are. They, they are they are completely conceited. They have lost all shreds of just respectability. Closing her eyes, the blue-haired female grew a little bit sad. I'm not going to be arrogant enough to think my girls are only famous because of me, are I? No, no, that's exactly they it. Definitely, they definitely deserve to be on the top. Maybe they built their careers from nothing to start with. I wouldn't know. You didn't Sayaka. ask. You just... <laughs> it's like you Sa girls, come with me. You're gonna start this dance rehearsal. <laughs> Say Sayaka, is everything all right? You look a little bit sad. To be honest with you, looking back at the other females, she quickly gave them a smile. Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Sticks her tongue out and gives a peace sign. I mean, come on. I just got the title of ultimate pop sensation. There was a small silence, dragging out a little more than it should have been. Anyway, scratching her cheek, Sayaka cleared her throat. Does anyone know how Borger McNugget even became recognized in the first place? You know, I'm starting to get kind of curious about that. Well, I do know about that. <gasps> Watch it be wow. like, like she's actually like really successful or some shit. I don't, I don't know. What, what do you think? <laughs> Burger McNugget's what? backstory. I think her backstory is. Uh, I think that she was born, and her daughter—I mean, not her daughter. Her father was Ronald McDonald, and they started a successful burger uh, and fast food chain. That's it. That's how she came famous. <laughs> and she, then she just she, picked up acting on the side. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she picked up acting on the side when she wasn't uh, being harassed by the Hamburglar. Yeah. By, by, uh, <laughs> and Grimace. <laughs> trying to yeah, get yeah, those yeah. damn milkshakes. <laughs> try, try, yeah, yeah, just trying to get, trying to get free milkshakes and hamburgers, because, you know, uh, that's, that's what they do. They're the bad guys. Yeah. 
Where were the bad guys? Chapter four. Well, I do know about that, a fellow member of the band said, nodding slowly. You do? Please tell me everything you know. Dayaku grabbed the girl's hand. Why are you interested now? Like, as soon as you got the title, you were like, I now I gotta know how this bitch is fucking famous, because, uh, I'm obviously the best. <laughs> and now I have to rub it in her face, that damn Burger McNugget. Yeah. Her eyes almost shine with curiosity. I, I, I don't know if I should tell you all the details, but I think... You think what? I promise I won't tell anyone else, really. I mean, to be fair, if everyone knows how Burger McNugget became famous, I feel like that's public information. <laughs> like, you can just Google it. <laughs> they don't have Google here. They uh, they have they have no brains here. Gotcha, yeah, this is this is the this is the land of Wattpad. There is no technology unless mentioned by the author. <laughs> <laughs> Normally the blue hair idol wasn't wasn't wouldn't be so extremely pushy. He was just extremely curious about Burger McNugget. All of a sudden, Sayaka didn't know why she felt like that. Maybe she was still a bit jealous. How can you still be jealous? You just got told that you're the best bitch around anyway. Another female chimed in, looking at the two of them. Do you want to know so all all that so bad? I'm sorry if that question may be a little personal though. Her words caused Sayaka to freeze out of for a few seconds. She really was being too pushy the whole for the whole thing. No, no, it's nothing personal, I swear. I'm I'm just really curious about her. I I was spitting out nonsense. Damn right, shut this bitch up. Everyone in the room knew that. Sayaka was just really curious about her. Her behavior was extremely strange. No matter how she may have looked at it, more than just strange. You think? Sayaka, could it be that you have a small crush on Burger McNugget? A few of the girls giggled, while the cheeks of the ultimate pop sensation slowly turned ketchup red. <gasps> Dude, that's the name of our chip like oh, okay. <laughs> I was like now reading like that you're lying. I'm like, oh my god, they actually brought up ketchup. Let's go. Well, more, more like a tomato red, but hey, having a crush on the person she hated the absolute most? Were they going absolutely insane? What? No. I don't have a crush on her or anything like that. I'm just really curious. Her cheeks grew darker. Like a tomato, when the others only smiled. Like someone would smile at a dumb little child who was simply spitting nonsense. Of course you don't, Sayaka. We know you would never. Sorry, I just, I got like mega. I went to go take a bite out of my sandwich and this shit had pickles in it. <laughs> you went to Chick Fil A and weren't expecting some pickles in the sandwich. I I fucking hate pickles. I like I was I smelt it. I'm like this smells like pickles on it, but like I don't know. And then I and then I took a bite and I hated it. Pickles. Yeah, you know, they, they, they're not that bad, but I would prefer not to eat them. That's kind of how I view pickles. Yeah, I don't like that it's vinegary, crunchy, and wet. No. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like those first two, maybe not the wet part. Yeah. <laughs> Can you all just believe me, please? Why would I be in love with her? Haven't you seen me avoiding her at the event? Her eyes widened as she covered her mouth with her, uh, yeah, cover her mouth with her hands. She had just re revealed how embarrassed she would act before. No one was supposed to know. At the event? You mean the gala? The blonde asked. Which blonde? Oh, that's a, that's a My Little Pony reference at yeah. the gala. Looking at the others. No, we hadn't seen you at all. We were surrounded by paparazzi the whole time. They kept asking about you too, but we couldn't find you. So, you were hiding the whole time we were there? Not the whole time, just like, maybe 15 minutes? I even let some photographers take pictures of me, so it's not like I was the, I was only hiding. You can ask my assistant, it's true. Her panicked voice made it clear that she, as clear as day that she's nervous about how she was actually being. Okay, calm down, Sayaka. 
sympathy, the sympathy on their faces only made her Why weren't they believing her? She wasn't really in the cheddar yellow haired f star, right? Hmm. Her mind went blank. Right. Slo swallowing down giant bitch that she had in her throat. She slowly began to calm down again. I think after everything that happened, we should just cancel practice for tomorrow. For today. But if we do, we'll have to start earlier tomorrow. Her dance instructor clapped her hands, beginning to gather her things. Remember, we need to get this done as soon as possible. We don't want the others to rise. That's kind of kind of selfish, you think? It, it, instead of like lifting yourself up, you kind of put others down. That's kind of... I don't know. Yeah, this is what this group does. They just punch down constantly. <laughs> Evidently, I mean, why do you think she hates Burger McNuggets so much? Yeah. It, it's clearly not about having a crush. It's 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 part of the cult <laughs> damn club. <laughs> After having their things gathered, as well, the girls walked out, chatting amongst themselves, saying things like, "Why would we lose our top at our position at the top? We have Say Sayaka, the ultimate pop sensation." They disappeared, leaving behind a puzzled, blue-haired pop idol, who was still lost in thought, all alone. I'm all alone, <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta have friends. They, they have no idea yeah. what's gonna, where they're, hold up. I just went to this next chapter and I see this PFP. Okay, no, that, that PFP is not who I think it is. I was okay. getting very weird for a second. Wait, like you that you would know the author? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, that just, just, just a character that they would. Be. Gotcha. Our chapter five. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. Since Sayaka had been declared the ultimate pop sensation, the girls and her have been given so much attention. It's almost become unbearable. It's nice to meet you too. I'm Sayaka Mozono, the new ultimate pop sensation. But sometimes it was a little bit too much. After all, cameras got shoved in her face every second she got recognized. Everyone wanted to take the perfect picture of Sayaka Mozono, especially the paparazzi. They definitely wanted that sweet extra money, which they would get for the perfect photo. Miss Mozono, please look over here! <laughs> And whatever someone would call her, Miss Mizono, the blue hair idol, found herself blushing, remembering the cheddar yellow hair pop star would always call her that as well. Maybe she didn't hit Burger McNugget as much as she thought she did. A big event would soon prove that. It was at the awarding gala for the best artist of the year. The one with the most hits. The list went on. I'm sure you will win the best artist of the year, Say Sayaka. Seemed like her assistant was more excited than the idol herself. I sure hope I will. Her heart seemed to stop for a few seconds. When she saw the cheddar yellow haired female getting her picture taken with some fellow stars, Sayaka had to admit, McNugget absolutely looked gorgeous. The green dress fit her perfectly. It looked like it was fitted just for her. Unfortunately for her, McNugget had soon noticed them, which wasn't too hard considering the ultimate pop sensation wouldn't move an inch. Oh, hello, Miss Sayaka. She smiled, corners of her beige burger bread <laughs> lips curling up into a smile. I heard about you and your title. I want to congratulate Oh, uh, oh. Thanks. I mean, the blue-haired idol forced a bright smile onto her lips. <laughs> Thank you so much, McNugget. It was a big surprise for me. After all, our fellow bands and singers are so much talented. So talented. I didn't know. I, I didn't know I stood out that much. Considering the popularity of of herself. Yeah. I mean. This is a very facetious comment. Yeah, definitely. Like, I didn't even know I was famous, guys. And then, like, meanwhile, she's, like, getting people to, like, take photos. 
this 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 plays into the culture that I was talking to, just talking about. Mm. <laughs> oh, but you definitely stand out from the very beginning in a carefree manner. The cheddared haired female took Dayaka's hand, pressing a soft kiss on her knuckles. All of us know how talented you are. I don't think I really Oh wait. I don't think it really was a big surprise, trust me. Saka wasn't sure how to react, only stuttering out small, mi minor nonsense, which wasn't un understandable at all. I'm sorry, Miss Bazono, did you say something? Burger only smiled, completely ignoring how nervous the other person in the conversation was being. If you did, can you please repeat yourself? I didn't quite understand you. No, I, I didn't say anything, McNugget. I, I was, I'm just a little startled by you. Her blue eyes traveled to her hands that were still holding on to one another. Only now, Sayaka noticed how tight her hand was clugging onto burgers. Oh no, I'm sorry! <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. When her hand let go of hers, the ultimate pop sensation almost felt a little bit sad. Her hand is so warm. Slowly calming down, she held onto her. Now only slightly red. <clears throat> now only slight. Huh? Now only slightly red cheeks. But aren't you jealous, Big Nugget? She didn't know why she even asked that. Why would I be jealous? I still have fans, even if you have lots of smiling. McNugget turned to leave, but kept looking at the idol. Also, can't be jealous of someone who deserves everything they've earned, can I? Her Ooh. heart shatters, I like realizing this. just how silly she is. <laughs> I like this comment at the very bottom that just says, <laughs> lesbians. <laughs> hmm, it's almost as if that's what they are. What they are portraying. Lesbians. Lesbians spotted. Pick it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sayaka was the one, was one of the people that were sitting in the front row. She wanted to hear every little detail. Who would be the best rock band? And who was the youngest person to succeed in the, in the business that year? No matter how it ended, she wanted to hear it. Thank you all for coming. This year will be a really special year. Her blue eyes wide as she recognized. Oh wait, that's Burger. Never mind. I thought that was like a shitty announcer. <laughs> <laughs> a Burger voice, who now stepped up on the stage. This year, it will be one of the honors of announcing all of our winners, and I am sadly not one of them. Smiling, <laughs> smiling, the cheddar yellow-haired female waved some, uh moderation cars in front of herself to catch the people's attention. Needless to say, she didn't have to do that. Everyone was already paying attention to what she had to say. Let's start off with our first category. Youngest Artist. The ultimate pop sensation didn't hear a single word she was saying. After all, all she could focus on were lips of beige moving with everything she said and her green lettuce green dress Another piece that complimented her more than anything. That's it for the category of youngest artist. Please give another round of applause. There we go. <laughs> Am I clapping? <laughs> Sayaka didn't want to admit it, but she admired the pop star a lot more since she read the Hope Speak Academy letter. Her voice was even just perfect when it came to moments like those. Noticing everyone clapping, she quickly joined in, jumping a little. Now, before we even start with the next category, which is the biggest success of the year, I would like to all take a moment and think about the person that definitely worked the hardest this year. The same goes for the band with the hardest work. Ooh, I wonder who that could be. Oh my god, <laughs> You know, she reads the car and like Sack is ready to like run up on the stage and it's like now introducing Ninja Sex Party. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't heard that name in a while. I, I, the the only reason I know them still being around may maybe in my life is uh one of my friends who had them on Spotify Rap. Gotcha. Yeah, that was on my Spotify Rap this year. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. <laughs> 
As she said that, many pairs of eyes fell on the food haired female. The room suddenly felt smaller. But she didn't mind at all. Do all these people really think I deserve this award? Or are they maybe angry because I overshadow them? He wasn't sure what to think. Oh, and I see that many of you already have someone in mind. A, sm a small giggle could be heard from Burger, who was watching the scene unfold. And you aren't wrong with that. May I present you the most hardworking band this year, Sayaka Mazona and her fellow artists. Wait, they didn't introduce, like, the band name? That is That's really crazy. cruel. <laughs> Bikomachi. The girls began to, to all cheer, except for the lead singer, who could only stare at the one that announced the news. Burger was gently smiling at her, gesturing for her to finally come up on stage. Please, give these hardworking females a round of applause. They definitely deserve it. Surrounded by all the clapping and cheering, the ultimate pop sensation finally forced herself to get up and walk towards the cheddar yellow-haired female. There was a small speech from one of the other girls, since Sayaka still couldn't believe what was happening, and maybe Borger did have a small effect on it too. <laughs> you think? Burger. Here you go, Miss Mizono. Congratulations. Her soft smile seemed to make the hair idols knees weak. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Thank you, McNugget. Before she could even the stage, though, the said the female. <clears throat> said female pulled her back gently. Please, I don't need you to stay here for now turning towards the audience and ignoring a really confused Sayaka and the cheddar yellow haired female looked toward the artist and for the looked took the award for most hardworking artist and for the most hardworking artist we also have Sayaka Maizono please make sure to congratulate the new ultimate sensation a deserved title for talent I was Honestly, thinking it was about to be a kiss. I don't know. Uh, wow, uh, that, in that chapter would, that would moving, six? <laughs> that would be moving pretty fast. Moving but... right along. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was wondering if, like, the rest of the story, like, that, them being, like, an item, but no, we get more. We get more play. Yeah, more slow burner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seven. This is probably the last one that we read before we wrap it up. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Saka. Wait, sorry, what were you going to say? Uh, oh, I was, I was going to say, I was thinking like chapter 8, chapter 9, but yeah, I could do this too. Alright. Saka, you can't possibly still be flustered about about what happened. Small sissing his side, pinching the bridge of her nose. I'm not flustered, I'm just a bit caught off guard. And even <laughs> though she had said so, so countless times, the blue-haired idol was still hiding in her dressing room. Of course you aren't. Shaking her head in disbelief, she sat in the chair next to the door. Come on, please start getting ready. Everyone be, will be at the after party. She was practically begging at this point, even folding together her hands in a praying motion. It won't be that bad. <laughs> of course, it's going to be the worst than I think. I, I, I stood on this stage stuttering and blushing like an idiot. I have no problem talking to thousands of fans. Why do I? Can't, why can't I not talk normally when I'm with Burger McNugget? While talking, she was stepped out. She can't handle just how irresistible the uh, taste of a Big Mac is. Yeah, it, it was the. It was, she like pulled out like a like a fifty piece McNugget box. <laughs> She's like, this could that, all that, be that's, yours. Yeah, that's the. That's the. That's the. Uh, best group award and the hardest working talent is uh is a quarter pounder with cheese <laughs> that that's that that's the award <laughs> they, they're like and now for the uh the bonus category most delicious artist and everyone's like what the fuck what does that mean <laughs> burger mcnugget and she's like oh my god thank you guys so much <laughs> i really <laughs> appreciate it as i said you have a crush on her. Admit it to her already. Before you embarrass yourself even more. Or do you want her to think that you were actually incapable of interacting with a person? Her eyes went narrow as she stared at the ultimate pop sensation. Huffing, Sayaka practically marched down the of the location, clenching her gloved fists together. You're acting like I 
can actually embarrass myself in front of McNugget. I know she isn't someone to make f to make fun of people, so she probably didn't even find it embarrassing. She screeched at the, the slightly chubby female. You're not making any sense, said the assistant. Just answered, said, said assistant just answered. This is right, so we Hurrying to the keep the track, keep track with the blue-haired female, who was still slightly enraged when she entered the room. Of course, she didn't show it on the outside. Not after she had already made a fool of her stage. That's quite... That's quite mean. I thought she did a pretty good job. Yeah. No, she was bumbling like an idiot. She embarrassed herself in front of her crush and thousands of people, man. <laughs> she will never work in Hollywood again. She she will never come back from this. It's yeah. so fucking over. I'm never gonna be able to financially recover from this. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. She smiled, closing her eyes while doing so. I need I need to calm down. The moment of embarrassments are over. Why would, would I still be nervous? Opening her eyes, she searched through the room. First, there was no apparent reason, and then she caught sign of Burger McNugget. Right, because of her. This time, the ultimate pop sensation didn't focus on the cheddar, yellow-haired female's outfit first, but on her face. She seamlessly, her seamlessly flawless face. Feeling her cheeks heat up, Sayaka quickly turned towards her assistant. Please, guide me to my appointed seat for the evening. Nodding the female- wait, nodding. The female didn't even question why the idol's cheeks were red. At that point, she was just hoping it wasn't anything related to McNugget again, who- Oh no. Internally, Sayaka's assistant face palm. The ultimate pop sensation seat was right next to the person she didn't want to see! This is like- wow. a, This is like equivalent to like, uh, <laughs> like when it's like, oh, I, book, I got a hotel room for us, and it said it would come with two beds, and then when they go in there, it's like, oh no, there's only one bed. <laughs> wow, this is going to be me in a, about a month. I mean, what? What? <clears throat> uh, how could I let this happen? She's going to kill me, or worse, fire me. Gulping, she turned toward the blue-haired pop star, who had already noticed what was happening. It's okay. I won't let anyone notice it. They won't even get that idea. Thankfully, no one had noticed. Even the cheddar-haired yellow female... Ch cheddar-yellow-haired female herself. They, they really love using the hair color. Mm -hmm. She she simply gave Sayaka a gentle smile, even moving to the side a little. People immediately began to congratulate her, mentioning the title and awards over and over again throughout the night. It got to the point where the ultra pop sensation became rather annoyed, probably about to snap at some other stars, which would gradually decrease her popularity. If you would excuse Miss Maizono for a second, I'll be right back. Her eyes widened when Nugget took her hand and pulled her onto her feet. What? Okay, uh, Phoenix, we can't end on this. We can't end on this. What do you this. mean? It's a cliffhanger! I, I even see the comment down here, like, they about to make out? <laughs> hmm. I suppose so, I suppose so. It gives I, them a reason I, to come back, bro. This is true, this is true, okay. I, I gotta I... edge my audience somehow. <laughs> true. <laughs> well, that, well, that, was pretty, this. that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is a good one. I mean, we read I... the author one of the uh, Byakuya Togami one, and that one was pretty good. Yeah, on, honestly, uh, from, you know, the the fanfic layman, I, I think that was a decent story. I, obviously, some some of the wording doesn't agree with me as a reader, but I, I, I think it was pretty fun. Me as a, as a person with an English degree, <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> compute. <laughs> <laughs> I do like, like, no matter what's written, it's always 12 <laughs> paragraphs. Yeah, pretty much. So it kind of just works. Yeah. I don't know how they do it, because I feel like I would have wanted to add things or, like, took things out mm -hmm. while I write. Oh, that, like, not a doubt. 
and it wouldn't always add up to like 12. So I'm honestly, I'm impressed that they're able to make it always 12. And whatnot. Yeah, they, 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 they probably try and, you know, set her a formula so it is a decent, a decent size, sizable read, but also like not too much of a... Just, yeah. It, it gives the reader some space. Yeah, also, like, even though it's only, like, 12 and the paragraphs are somewhat small, they're only, like, two or three sentences long, they give you a lot of details and it formulates a big story. It's not like you're going through each chapter and it's, like, someone piecing together this little story and whatnot <laughs> that could have been all been done in, like, one chapter early on, but th this is so good. I like this author. <laughs> I think I, I think I said that I want their community. I like went in after the Biakia story. I was like, I love these books so much. Thank you for your hard work. <laughs> and they were like, Oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. I I think it's I think it's great that that there's still some that they're still active considering that some of these stories. How old that story? I think the last one that they updated was like the Junko one. And that was like for like at least a year or two ago, but they're very much still yeah. active. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, at I least like the that. stories that they have are complete. That's the good thing. Yeah, <laughs> they they actually they they actually finish them. That's probably how they help finish them. They give them a structure. Yeah. Also, if this author ever comes back and does it finishes the the first cast and whatnot, I would love to see them do. The second cast and whatnot, specifically Teru Teru. If I could submit a <laughs> like a request, that would be pretty funny. I would I love to read a Teru Teru story, man. Love, love Teru Teru. Yes. Anyone who anyone who hates Teru Teru, you were a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> man, if I had a nickel for every time I fell in love with a perverted cook, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> I love Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, I see him in the mirror every day. Yeah, wait, you just like look in the mirror and instead of it being your reflection, it's Dr. Doofenshmirtz's reflection. Ah, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> You're here for my Wattpadinator. <laughs> if there's any, any fandom into a Wattpad story. <laughs> I turn any fandom into a Wattpad story, a romance story. Because my life has been so deprived of romance. Ah, Perry, why are you trying to kick me? <laughs> and it's like, you see, it, it, like, well, my mother at, abandoned it, me. That, that's it shoots, why. <laughs> it shoots at both of them. It, and it shoots both of them. And they're like, oh, no. Perry. No. <laughs> Dude, I had to live with the knowledge now that, like, there's a Knuckles X Rouge out reader out there and whatnot. So. <laughs> oh, what? what you. you that's not telling me nothing. I know. I, I, I like. I, I discovered I used to like, it. I used to like Sonic a lot back in sixth grade, so I've I've uh, I've seen a lot of uh. I've never been a big fanfic reader, as you know. That's that's part that's part of my charm in being here. Yeah. So, so you know, but I I I've seen I've seen mm -hmm. I've seen some art. <laughs> yeah, I like um they just started like uh with, I guess the new game for Sonic came out so they're doing like the question like ask Sonic on Twitter mm -hmm. and TikTok and one of the questions was like does Rouge ever come like at, like ask Knuckles hey does Rouge ever come by to get the Master Emerald and they start making fun of him that him and him and Rouge are dating I'm like there ain't no way I'm like I need to look this up on Wattpad and then boom oh, a lot of a lot of stories I. <laughs> have no doubt in my mind. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're getting, like, off track. I, anyway, if you would like I, to read I, this book, to, I, I will have I just wanted to say, Yeah. I just wanted to say, I'm glad we could end it on uh, that Dr. Doofenshmirtz bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to read the book, I will have it linked down below in the description. Please, please go follow the author. They have other Day and Rafa books that follow different characters. I highly recommend them and whatnot, especially the Mondo one that we did. That was from that same author and whatnot. So. Yeah, that was, that was that one's probably my favorite one. To, that was my probably favorite. Yeah. Yeah, we were able to finish it one day, right? Or, no, wait, that was was that a different Mondo X reader? Uh, I think we did we did two, I think. Did we? I, I cannot remember to begin with. 
<laughs> I but I, I do remember really liking it though. Yeah. It, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but uh, but anyway, uh, my name is Phoenix. That was Philip, and I guess we'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Alfie